I love summer. I used to spend my summer days in California, hanging out at the beach, swimming at the pool, going to the county fair, and driving on the road with my family. I also had plenty of time to do my favorite thing in the world, read books. Yep. Along with reading books, I spent some summers doing math work. And for someone who struggles to remember the smallest things, this made a huge difference for me academically. But I know that this is the last thing many students want to think about during the summer, math. Research shows that students who study over the summer continue to make gains and have an edge over their peers who don't. So parents, how can there be a balance between fun and relaxation while still giving your student the edge academically? I'll explain that in this video. My goal is to help students learn, retain, and grow high-performance math skills so that they are ready to tackle any problems that come their way. I also want them to learn critical thinking and logical reasoning necessary for life's big challenges. Today, I'm going to share with you three tips on how to elevate and extend your child's math skills during the summertime. Stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to share a bonus tip on how to develop your child's math skills one grade level in three months. If you like this video or want more math tips, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. There's a link in the description. There are three easy ways to help students with math to keep the brain fog away and engage them with math. Number one. Playing board games like chess, checkers, and Catan can help them with the logical reasoning skills that they need with math. Puzzle games like Sudoku will also help your student with their math. If you're going to the store, have your student accompany you and help with calculating prices and percentages, as well as unit rate. If you're buying a bulk amount of items, they can calculate how much it costs for just one of them. As a family, you guys can play math games, or strategy games, or on their own, students can play math games at mathplayground.com. I know when my son was young, we used to have him play computer games that would help him with multiplication and division and decimals and fractions. Another way to help your child over the summer is to provide them with books that involve logical thinking. Detective novels, puzzle books, stories about mathematicians and scientists, those are all very helpful ways to help your student engage with math. I know, I used to read a lot of Sherlock Holmes, Agatha Christie, Encyclopedia Brown, and Hardy Boys. I loved putting the clues together to try to figure out what was going on. I also loved how they were solving problems and taking action towards finding the solutions. There's another type of book out there that's wonderful for students, and that is books that are on growth mindset. These books will help your child with developing grit and perseverance necessary for their long-term success. Now, you could also engage them with specific math work, but at a pace and amount that's not as heavy as the regular school year. This keeps them learning and moving ahead, but gives them plenty of time for other summer activities. Work through a light amount of worksheets, review worksheets, like one or two a day, no more than 30 minutes a day. Engage in summer classes that revolve around STEM activities, computer science, robotics, chess, play games together as a family, or with other students like Jeopardy or Kahoot. And the way you would do this is to take a review from the schoolwork and split it off according to level of difficulty. Assign a lower amount of points for the easier questions, and a higher amount of points for the harder questions. You can even have a competition between different teams to see who can get the most points. So, to summarize, get students thinking about math in so many fun ways. Through games, books, activities, and classes that relate with their own interests and expose them to new mathematical thinking. Keeping your student engaged with math doesn't have to be hard or even a lot of work. There are plenty of fun, easy activities for your child to do that will help them with math. And remember that bonus tip I promised you? A summer math program that focuses on the area where your students weaken can bring them up a whole grade level just in two to three months. Yep. The summer math program will focus in on the areas that your student needs the most help with 
and give them a boost up in the way that they are approaching and solving the problems. By the way, one of my parents in our math competition class said that this class was so good, she's going to use that class for her summer program. So we thought that since the parent loved it so much that we would extend this offer to all of our parents. All you have to do is message us with summer22 at support at tampabaytestprep.com. We'll give you your first class for math competitions for free. Click below to get in touch, send us an email, find us on Facebook. We look forward to speaking with you and hope that you guys have a lot of math success. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to see more of our tips for math. We look forward to seeing you next time. Keep on learning.